Hola guys, happy Saturday. Um, I just left the dealership. Um, as of right now, it's not a bad thing, uh, but because of the holiday and because a part needs to be ordered, it is the coolant valve thingy that all the interweb was all the rage about with this Corolla. Um, they have to order the part, the holidays on Monday, so they're not going to be able to call or do anything until Tuesday. So they'll contact me next week and let me know when to come back in. Um, but as far as the man goes, as many of these that have come in, he said about 90% are covered by warranty and I have the extended warranty. But if it's not, it'll be like $700. So uh, I'm not going to stress out over it. I'm going to cross my fingers and hope that it is covered. But because I had to come to a different city, because my dealership where I live was booked until two weeks from now. And I was scared to drive the car that way. They've assured me that it's safe to drive the way it is right now. But I'm in another city. So what do I do while I'm waiting? Google local thrift stores. I'm in Arlington. Arlington has four Goodwills. I've gone to one in the past and it was very bougie, kind of boutique -y. I didn't like it. There was hardly anything in there and I thought it was too priced, overly priced. But I found another one. Let's go in. So this one is on Arkansas in Arlington. The bougie one was on Cooper. I think there are two more. Depending on how my back feels, I might try at least one more. Oh, y'all know I love this stuff. That's pretty. How much are their lamps? Whoa, that's crazy. I've never seen one that much at the Dallas one. Look at these cute little clear glass ornaments. Little, look, it's a teddy bear, a Christmas tree, no, a teddy bear, a Santa Claus, and a gingerbread. Oh my gosh, these are adorable. Look at the pine cones. These are really cute. So cute. It's organized really, really nicely. I like the organization of it all. Oh goodness gracious, a yellow enamel frame. I am so glad I do not have any more room for frames. Because that would definitely come home with me. I don't have any more room for the enamel goodness. But look at how organized, guys. So nice. I like this. Oh, my back. Look how pretty that is. This is so pretty, but they used some weird glue to put it back together. I would totally pay the $10 for this, but the inside is a little wonky. I don't trust that. The rest of the floor is clothing. I'm going to sneak a peek -a -loo at the prices just to see how they compare to mine.
guys it's a really nice goodwill it really is nicely organized lots to choose from their prices um i thought were a little too expensive but considering the quality of donated goods not too too bad some of it was overly priced as you saw i mean i think 17 18 dollars for anything at a thrift store is just too much um but it is a nice goodwill uh and i was thinking of hitting another one but my spasms are so stinking bad and that might actually be why i walked out with nothing guys oh my gosh i just realized this is actually uh, I'm fat. How am I supposed to get in here without dinging my car or dinging their car with a bad back? I swear, but we're in the lines. Ugh. Oh my gosh, you guys. I was able to open the door enough to get in, but oh my gosh, when I tell y'all, the spasms are so bad right now, guys. But I want to finish telling y'all about this Goodwill. I'm definitely heading home. This back is not letting me do anything enjoyable. There was some really good stuff at the bottom of the shelves that I just couldn't stoop comfortably to get. <gasps> My leg is, oh, just trying, it's most to kill me. <sighs> I guess I should turn the car on cause it's hot, hang on. Okay, um, but uh, Goodwill on Arkansas in Arlington, Texas is a really good one for my locals. I liked it. Uh, but like I was saying, some of the prices are a little too expensive. But the quality of the items that they have is really good. They put really nice stuff out on the shelf. But enough that you get that thrift experience. You know, of digging and stuff. Which is the fun part of thrifting. Some thrift stores, when they start trying to go boutique, they don't have a lot on the shelves. I don't like that. I like a lot of stuff. So... Their shelves are nicely full with lots to look at, but nice things. And there were some things that had good prices on it, knickknack wise. I did go into the clothes just to sneak a peek a and see what their clothes are like. Their blouses are $4.99, which is cheaper than my Goodwill. Uh, but I saw jackets and blazers for $12.99, which might be more expensive than mine. I'm not sure. But you guys, I wish, I wish, I wish. My back and leg were not acting up because I would really like to go to at least one more, but I'm not going to push it because I'm by myself. I don't have anybody to help me in and on no vehicles. So I'm heading home, but um, I'll talk to you guys there. I cannot believe, guys, I actually did it unintentionally. I walked in the thrift store and walked out of the thrift store with nothing. Okay, but um, really nothing, nothing, nothing at all. See, nothing, but I'm going to head home. Uh, hopefully I don't get lost. I'm not really familiar with this area, but I did go to Drift Town Yesterday after work, so I'll show you guys the things I picked up there because I did don't you hit my car lady Don't you hit my car? Um, I did pick up a few things there, but I'll see you guys at the house Made it back to my side of town and I'm hard-headed and even though I'm in pain I can't resist stopping off at Drifty Station now the last few times I've come I've noticed that they're going more boutique style I don't know what it is with these thrift stores wanting to go boutique and there's they seem to be focusing more on like the fashionista thrifter uh, it's nice and all but those of us thrifters who like knickknackery it's kind of sad because they used to have so many nice little link necks to go through and now they're pretty limited to what they've put out uh the last few times i've come i don't think i bought much that's uh the last time i came is when i bought those mystery bags so that was kind of fun which by the way have all been distributed and given away to folks uh that wanted some of those things so that 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 turned out well but that was the last time that i found anything really you know fun here and I keep coming because it benefits the community the money that goes in goes out to the community plus you get your free uh, pastries if they have them to be offered but I'm gonna go in there and stink a piccolo and see if they've put anything out
Can someone advise me as to why my spider plant has this long leg sticking out this way? I know plants grow towards the sun. So is that what he's trying to do? I know these are eventually going to become little flowers, which I'm happy about, but what the heck? Look at that. Before long, it's going to cover the sidewalk. Also, one more piece of advice I need from y'all. What the heck is going on with my zucchini and why does it look like that? I've tried to Google and I don't get a clear enough answer. Is it something I'm doing? Is it something nature is doing? Do y'all see this? Look how fat it is on top and all skinny and weird on the bottom. I don't know if I should pluck it or what. And I'm hoping that the other one in here which is this one doesn't grow weird like that I had one back here that was gonna start but it it died so currently I only have one more well no a few more I think no those are boys anyway what the heck is wrong with this one because if that's the only one I'm gonna end up getting can I fix it so anything that grows new doesn't do that weird look the beginnings of a teeny tiny pepper I'm so excited I'm so excited and these have lots of little flowers look at this one this is the one my friend bought me has three flowers that hopefully turn into peppers and lots of little little heads that hopefully will give me some bells even my oleander is beginning to cooperate some. I'm going to have some pretty red blooms. I'm so happy. I added some purple heart in here just because I was feeling kind of crazy. Like you just have fake flowers and a bunch of dirt. So I went ahead and added some purple heart that's doing okay. And then I buried I don't know how many friggin' avocado pits in here. So maybe that will eventually do something. Oh, sorry. These over here. Look at that one. And look at that big daddy back there. See that? See that? Okay, so I got lots of jalapenos coming in on that one. This one has two of them. Two little ones. Let them go. Let them do their thing. I had to come out here and trim. Well, little dude helped me trim some of the straggler branches off of my maters because they were pretty much covered I couldn't even see them and I want them to get sun and air and everything they need to give mama some delicious maters look guys I thought this was dead but I buried it per the google this is another z plant that's starting to come up this z plant was all yellow and raggedy after winter and I just, I ain't gonna lie guys, I kind of abandoned these back here because I didn't want to throw them away, but I also wanted to give them a chance, but I didn't want just bare pots over there. But look how well it's doing. And then right here, see this? And see this? Those are more avocado pits because y'all know how happy and proud I was of my avocado plant for so long. And then I screwed up and let it die in the winter. But everything is so stinking tall and green. So pretty. But I'm going to go in because my back has not stopped. I did pick up a few things at um, Thrifty Station. 
hold on. Remember this little bee thing I thrifted and I told y'all I wanted something cute to hang off of these hooks? That's where it ended up. Just wanted to show y'all. For those of you that are curious as to what does she do with all of her thrifted crap? That's part of it. Okay. But I'm going to go in because my back is just ugh, screaming for a heating pad. So I'm going to do that. But yeah, if you all could enlighten me on what is going on with my zucchini and why my spider plant is doing that. But it's healthy, so... Anywho, um, I uh, did pick up a few things at Thrifty Station. I spoke too soon, guys. I walked in and I found some cute knickknackery and uh, even found some earrings. Even though they don't, they don't display their jewelry anymore. They had four little black trays of earrings stacked up on a shelf behind the register. So she pulled those down for me. So I was able to find a couple of pairs that I really liked. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to go in and get on this heating pad. See if little dude is awake. It's only a little after 12. I was at the dealership early. Get off me, mosquito. Rude. Um, I was at the dealership super, super early. So it's almost 12.30. He's probably still asleep. Because I know that boy was up when I went got up to Tinkle around 4.30 this morning. So he's probably still crashed out. But I'll see you guys inside. Nobody's being tortured. Those are kids riding their scooters down the street. Okay, guys, I made my way upstairs. It's about three o'clock and got home and he was up. He was awake and I didn't expect that, but because it was early, but I threw together some sandwiches, boiled some water, made some uh, ramen noodles, and we had a quick lunch. And then I dozed off on the couch watching SVU. Kind of like propped up this way, like this on the couch, you know, head up like this. And then I woke up maybe half an hour later. Stiff as I'll get out because I laid on the bad side. But now I am fighting sleep. I'm like a baby, you guys. I don't want to go to sleep because he's not bugging me. He's not saying he wants to go anywhere. He's not being difficult. But it's my mommy guild. It's just the mommy I am. It's Saturday. It's the weekend. It's a holiday weekend he's out of school we should be at the movies we should be doing something we should be somewhere we should be visiting our friends i can't i feel like doo doo uh and i'm fighting sleep because i don't want to go to sleep and leave him to his little lonesome over there he's fine i know he's not a baby i know i know i know even he says mom i'm good but it's also just in my nature not to waste a day. I don't want to waste a day, but I can't do crap. I have house cleaning. I have laundry. You know I want to be puttering around in the backyard. But, um, he's going to steal my spot. He's so rude. But anyway, but before I do lie down, I'm going to be good. I'm going to lie down, put this heating pad on, and just fall into the sleep. I'm just going to give into the sleep of it all. Because I am exhausted. And when your body is trying to tell you something, listen to it. But I'm going to show you guys the stuff that I picked up at Thrift Town yesterday. And the Thrifty Station today. At Thrift Town yesterday, it was 50% off all clothes for Memorial Day. Which I don't get why they don't do it on the weekend. They'd make so much more money if they did 50% off on a Saturday. But they do it on a Friday. I don't know what that's about. But that's okay. Because I got some stuff. I started looking again just because the season has changed and it's starting to get warm. Um, you know, basketball shorts and tees and that kind of stuff. But they don't have 
much of that out um, at the moment. But um, I did grab a few pieces and I found these for me. I do believe they sell these at Walmart. It's the the um, athletic little brand. I think it's the Walmart. And I like stuff like this for putting around the house. And I don't have any white ones. So I thought this was a good buy for housework and yard work and whatnot. So it was half off of $5.49. And they're soft and comfy. If they were clean, I swear I'd slap them on right now. And then I found this cute little tank and I don't really like to layer in summer, but I told y'all I'm just going to go with it. This is actually a little big, <laughs> uh, so I think my bra might show through here because with this type of stuff, I try and wear a strapless if I can remember, but it looks a little big, so my bra might show under so I'll probably have to layer it. I say all that to say I'm probably going to end up having to layer it like under a lighter shirt. But I thought it was pretty. I love the little pattern on it. And it's also super, super soft. And it was only half of $3.99. So I bought that home. And then I spotted what I thought was a really cute night shirt. And y'all know I'm all about a t-shirt and a night shirt, okay? And I'm like, that is so stinking loud and cute. And I love it. Um, so I grabbed it. Thinking somebody had just placed it wrong. Because it's really long, guys. It's long and, you know, it goes down past my knees. And it's high-low. A little higher in the front than in the back. But I love the colors. I love the patterns. I'm like perfect little sleep shirt and it was only half of $6.99 so hex to the yeah and then I saw that it had a tag on it oh okay that's cool I like when I find new things but there's not a price tag on it but it is a LuLaRoe tag and I keep finding LuLaRoe leggings there so I'm like and I know how soft they are LuLaRoe I don't know what it's made out of okay butterfly butts butterfly wings I don't know but they are so stinking soft this material so I went ahead and grabbed that and then I kept spotting these really cute I'm gonna use them as sleep shirts because they're really long um and I kept finding them and they're all still tagged and they're all LuLaRoe and they were all half off of $6.99 so originally priced $6.99 but here's this pink and green, uh, pink and gray with a little bit of seafoam green in it. And this one. Love the pink and blue. It is so, well, it's kind of salmon-y. Kind of salmon -y. And blue, and they're all the high-low. But very modest for me in the house with my two dudes, you know. It comes to my knees. And then this one. All new, all tagged, all LuLaRoe. So, I cleaned them out of their Lulero inventory. And uh, that was a pretty good deal. You know, everything half off. And then I went and looked around a little bit more. And found these cute shoes. And I have espadrilles. But I don't think I have. I'm pretty sure I don't have any of these. I have some black ones similar to this. But not this pretty little brown. Yes, they are used. They have been worn. But there's no toe print. Uh, there's no ickiness. There's no nastiness. And the sticker is still on it. So whoever wore them didn't wear them long or often. But I thought they were really cute for spring. We got a little bit of a, we got a little bit of a runner here. But that's okay. A little bit of hot glue. Some Gorilla Glue or some uh, E6000. Put that on there and then tap it down you're good to go but i just thought they were cute little warache little espadrille and these were a little pricey for me but they were just cute and i knew i was saving money on the clothing so i paid six dollars and 49 cents for these cute little zapatitos and then, of course, y'all know I ain't going to stop at the clothes and shoes. I was so excited about this. And if I wasn't so sleepy, I swear I'd be watching this. I found Dumbo. I love Dumbo. I remember watching it a whole lot as a child. And this is the 70th anniversary. It's the DVD and the Blu-ray. And they're both in here. So I may share with whoever wants 
one of the other copies. But I haven't watched Dumbo since my big dude was a little kid. And it tore me up still. I remember it just messing me up. That movie just messes me up. The whole mama. <laughs> but I remember really liking it. I still get kind of like little butterflies whenever I see the little stuffed Dumbos at the thrift stores or um, stores that have them. So I'm excited about that. And it was only 99 cents. Their movies are usually $1.99. And then I found The Virgin Suicides. Um, I've heard of this movie. I don't know that I've watched this movie. But uh, I hear it's a good one. And plenty of folks that I love on here. Um, plenty of folks that I love on here. And I heard, I heard, blah, blah, blah. I've heard it's a really good movie. It's an old movie, but I've heard it's a really good movie. And um, it was, this one was $1.99. I think the kid movies were 99 cents. I think that's what that is. And then the only other thing that I picked up, I put it back a couple of times, but I'm like, oh no, two things in here. This one thing I put back a couple of times, but uh, I had to have it. I don't know what I'm going to put in it just yet. But look at this pretty little wheelbarrow. See, it has a little canoe, a little salmon. On both sides it's a little planter I'm assuming it's a planter what else would it be so stinking cute and I want it for the windowsill downstairs uh, the dining room windowsill so I'm not sure what I'm gonna put in it but I do know where I'm gonna put it oh I'm sorry that was $3.99 and then the only other thing I picked up was one of the little groupings of the mice that I showed you and this one I picked up because it reminds me of my big dude. I got the little mouse with the sushi. So cute. And the reason I got it is because of the chopsticks. My oldest is still desperately trying to make me coordinated enough to handle chopsticks. You guys, I can't do it. I'm still using the kid ones that look like giant uh, clothes pins. I cannot make my fingers do the most basic thing to use friggin chopsticks and when we have sushi he'll order sushi in and he's like okay mom you're gonna practice your chopsticks i still can't get it i can pick it up but i struggle so when i saw the little mouse with the sushi and the chopsticks i'm like oh it reminds me of my big dude so i had to have this one the other ones were adorable and i was tempted to buy all of them but i did notice them when i looked through all of them that all of them except him had something broken on them, a tip, a ear, a tail, something was broken on them. But a little sushi one is pretty, pretty darn uh, neat and clean. And he was only, oops, $1.99. So I'm going to set him on top of my microwave. Okay, he's going to be there peeking at us. And that was, <sighs> he's on my heating pad. Every time I put my heat. Y'all see him? He's on my heating pad. He steals my heating pad, guys. I don't mind sharing, but can I lie down and then you can get comfy with me, which is usually what he does. Um, but today at Thrifty, not at Thrift Mart, Thrifty, no, Thrifty Station, I forgot where I went. Oh, sorry, kitty cat. I caught you. I'm sorry. His paw was caught in the bag. Um... I picked up a few things. I was able to score two little pairs of earrings. And I like them because they were so different. I don't have anything like this. Oh, I'll have to take a photo. Oh, no, here we go. I was going to say, I'll, have, I'll try and take a photo if it doesn't show well. But isn't that pretty? I don't have anything like this. It's dark. And blue and just just different colored. I thought they were really pretty, so I grabbed those. And their prices on their earrings had gone from two dollars to four dollars, and I've paid the four dollars before. Um, but she sold them to me for two dollars. I don't know if they were having a sale or if she was just enjoying my conversation because it's one of my favorite volunteers that works there. She's from Louisiana and she has the best accent you guys the best accent she's so freaking friendly she just puts a smile on my face this lady puts a smile on my face i walked in in pain and um 
I walked in filming and then I heard her in the background and I immediately felt better. I immediately got in a good mood. She's just that kind. She just has that kind of energy. I just really like her. So like I said, I don't know if they were having a sale or if she did me a favor because she knows how much I love their earrings or who knows. But I got these. I thought they were different. A little bead, little jumble of beads. Really cute. I thought they were pretty. Got those for $2 as well. And then this little thing. She sold it to me for 50 cents. It didn't have a sticker on it. But it's it's plastic. It's this little plastic trinket box. And it has this little blue satin doohickey on the bottom to lay whatever in. I'm assuming it's for jewelry. That's what I'm going to use it for. But the top, look at the pretty birds, guys. Isn't that nice? I don't know what it is with me and birds. But I just thought it was so stinking pretty. So I'm going to clean it up, uh, try and get a little shine to it. And it's going to be a trinket box in here for all this jewelry I keep purchasing. I found this little guy. It was marked a dollar, but she sold it to me for 50 cents. See the little, the little bling in the center? That is so pretty. And I do have a lot of the metal silver crosses. So, got that little gem. Okay. I don't know how I have started collecting these. It's not a big collection because I do leave a lot behind whenever I see them at the thrift stores. But this one was gorgeous. And it was only $4. Look at that. That looks like a mahuhahu leaf. That looks like a mahuhahu leaf. But I hope that's not what that is. But it works. A lot of them don't have the little tinkle on. Excuse me. A lot of them don't have that little tinkle on the inside. But I just thought it was gorgeous. Is it crystal? Let's see. It's not pinging when it rings. Let's see. It's crystal, it pings, and it was four bucks. Yeah, and I'm slowly collecting little um, bells in my room, in my bedroom. I'm not sure how or why, but I love them. And then the only other thing I picked up was this. Now, I have one of these, but a small one that is traditional to the set, at least all the sets I saw growing up. Now, if you've been with me a while, you know that I collect this pattern of cut glass and I have my grandma's picture I have my mom's picture um and my grandma's glasses and some of my mom's glasses and I have slowly collected uh on that collection I have the two pictures and then I have eight of the long tea glasses and then eight of the goblets with the little stem and then I have the ice bucket thing uh the creamer the pit the creamer and the sugar bowl. Now the creamer I have is about yay big. I've never seen one this size before. And I thought this was more to scale to the pitcher that I have. Plus it makes more sense. Like if you like milk in your tea. You have that big old pitcher and this little bitty creamer. So this will be for milk. And the smaller one will be for cream. Either or however you like your tea. That's the English way. I do believe my spasms are starting guys. I'm sorry they're... Sorry, um, but this beauty was only $3, and I cannot wait to clean it all up and, and judge it up and set it down there with um, my set that I have um, on my little bottom buffet. But I thought that was really pretty. No way I was going to leave that behind. But that is everything, you guys. I am definitely, definitely, definitely going to listen to my body because my body is really mad at me right now. So I'm going to lie down. I'm going to boost my little bird killer over here away and off of my <laughs> eating pad they're so funny uh and i'm gonna lie down and i know i'm gonna fall asleep i'm like a cat i'm like a cat you can't lie down because my eyes shut and i fall asleep so we'll see how long i knock out um hopefully i wake up at a decent hour to get some dinner made or go pick up something i ain't even gonna lie but uh yeah i'm i'm pretty sure I'm in the house for the rest of the day. It's like my body held out all week long. Like, look, if you're going to make me go to work, 
I'm going to get you on the weekend. And it's getting me on the weekend. But at least everything that I needed to get done. Well, didn't need to get, didn't have it done. My car is not done. But at least I have an idea of what the problem, I know what the problem is. I know they're going to be working on getting the parts. And hopefully my warranty covers it. But I'm not going to worry about it because I can't do nothing about it until Tuesday anyway. I won't know anything until Tuesday. But, you know, it is what it is. But I am going to relax. And I hope you guys are having a great weekend. If you guys are off on Monday, I hope you guys have an incredible holiday weekend. Uh, relax. Listen to your body. Listen to yourself. Listen to your people. If you need to rest, do it. Just sit down somewhere. And... But until my next go around, I love y'all bunches. Bye. Ebony and Ivory fit together like perfect harmony hello get off my heating pad